What's up guys? Back again, this time for a different type of reaction video. It's recently come across my feed that a small channel on YouTube, and I say small because they still have over half a million subscribers, but not near as many subscribers as some of the bigger YouTube channels out there. But either way, they've got a fair amount of subscribers. But this this small channel, MXR Plays, is being extorted by the Jukin Media Company for $6,000. Why? Because MXR Plays is a reaction channel. They also have another channel that deals in video game content. So based upon video games and reactions, Jukin Media feels that they can ask $6,000 because MXR Plays has reacted to maybe three of their videos. Now for those of you who don't know, Jukin Media is a company who goes ahead and scouts out all over the interwebs viral videos. And what they essentially do is they ambulance chase people who post original content for their viral videos. And they offer them a small nominal sum to buy their video, which then goes in their compendium of viral videos, which they later use to market for ad revenue, click impressions, and various other deals. Okay, they took... Well, they supposedly threatened legal action for $6,000 against this channel, which just deals in reaction videos and video games. This you gotta you gotta watch this video with me. We're, let's get into it. The film today because of something called uh, Jukin Media. Sorry, it feels kind of weird talking about it because it just happened. If you don't know, they basically copyright all the clips you see on the internet. About a couple months ago, they started striking our channel because of clips that they own. Like they don't even bother to claim anymore. Yeah, so they it just used to be. Immediately strike. It used to be that they would claim your videos and take the revenue from that video, Which is right? Better than a strike. Yeah, and so we started, you know, removing their clips from our videos. Of course, because we're like, okay, that's your clip, so we won't use it. Yeah, so basically, they just strike our channel now whenever they see a clip. They look, look how meek and mild they are right now in terms of mannerisms. They're trying to explain themselves, but they don't want to come off as being over the top. And girl on the left here, well, essentially be my left, your right, actually looks rather hurt and bothered by this. Like, she could say a hell of a lot more, but she's got too much class to say it. Email us with a bill, and they charge us $1,500 per Jesus. clip that was in our videos. And so today we got hit with a huge bill of $6,000 in total. And I think it's because in the past we've we've paid them this amount of money. So they just, they're like, hey, this guy's willing to pay this money. Let's keep, you know, charging him for it. He'll just pay us. So we've paid. Yeah, they're looking at them like they're ATMs. Jukin Media is looking at MXR Plays like they're an ATM and they've just got ahead and gotten a bank card with no fucking pin number. They're just withdrawing whatever they possibly can while they can because it's convenient and it's easy. About two thousand dollars in total, and now we have another six thousand dollars to pay. And uh, if you don't pay, then basically they'll start striking your channel. We have a huge library of videos. They have a huge team of like a lot of people from India and Ch from China, right? They have a huge team of like Chinese workers that will basically go through our entire video library, most likely find three instances of some you know random clip, and then they'll basically remove our channel if if we don't pay them and we don't really have power against it and then we don't have a lawyer we don't have that much like big of a team to defend our channel and defend us so we're kind of put in the position where it's like kids catch 22 like we're stuck between a hard place and a rock so i feel like they're just constantly going to extort us so she's got tears in her eyes you can tell that they're not an affluent channel look he's got this typical dxr racer computer chair they're sitting with a black backdrop which is probably a sheet that's a roadcaster microphone at this point they're probably just sitting here think, trying to come up and trying to still get by especially after getting fined over and over again by juke and media what the hell's the point videos aren't proprietary they can be bought they can be leased and that type of thing but this is not a new concept whatsoever Jeannie does look over her videos. She goes on to their website and she spends like half an hour per video of her time to basically 
search the website for these videos. Really stressful work because she's so afraid because every time she, you know, misses a clip or doesn't put in the right search term, like doesn't put in the right tag, uh, she knows that it's fifteen hundred dollars out of her pockets. Jesus. Rather than that, it's just constantly in the fear of our channel being deleted. Right. Like, what if one day they are like, fifteen hundred is not enough. We just want you gone. Like. Yeah, we legitimately do a very. Imagine the time and manpower this girl puts into searching videos. Now she probably doesn't know this, but what you can essentially do. Because videos, most of the time anyway, are sometimes for, in a form of clickbait or someone will go ahead and come up with a screen cap to make it more enticing, especially in terms of advertising so you click on it. But what you can do is you can screenshot the beginning frame of the video and you can take it to Google Image Search and you can go ahead and search Google Images with that one image of that video and then see where upon and where else that video exists on the internet. If anybody needs me to show you how to do this, I will gladly make a secondary video. I'm just trying to get MXR Play's story out right now. But if you need me to show you how to look and see if, where to find other instances of videos, in case you're wondering if they are copyrighted, pl uh, just let me know and I'll be happy to go ahead and make a video demonstrating how to do this. No search, but sometimes they're just videos where it's like it's just a cat, right? And there's really nothing you can search for a cat. You can just say black cat, but even then they might not put in the tags for black cat. So what you end up have having to do is search through like 40 pages of videos, and um, sometimes you know you're a bit tired, you miss one of them, and then boom, fifteen hundred dollars because they legitimately Damn. have, I guarantee you, a team of dozens of Chinese people like watching every single minute of our videos searching up through their databases like just looking for the one chance to get us because right because that's an incredulous payout if they have that many people there combing through the videos and they're charging fifteen hundred dollars an instance for those videos appearing then obviously they're gonna make bank off of MXR Plays' channel if they've used any of the videos prior to that and look at her she looks Poor Jeannie looks really, really downtrodden about this and really heartbroken. She's only capable of doing so much. And if they have a small team and they're still, you know, a small channel in terms of revenue and what they can afford to do and the people they can afford to pay to help them, then obviously they're going to have some struggles with this. But not to the point they should be being extorted. Out of 300, we might make a mistake on a couple and then we get hit with charges like this. So we thought we've been very thorough. And at this point, it's like... I feel like we can't even watch any videos anymore. We can't react to any videos, period. Yeah. Essentially, like, literally every time we see, like, a cat, like, we get shook. And we haven't heard of this happen. Bro, y'all ever seen Asian Twitter? It is filled with random pictures of cats and people just filming their pets all the time. The Asian Twitter? Not so much like, you know, the, the English version of Twitter with, you know, Americanized. But the Asian version of Twitter is filled with cats. Like, I can see where they're coming from at this point. ...to any other YouTube channel. I feel like they have a vendetta against us. Clearly, I realize our mistake was paying the first time, because now they're like, oh, we have we have someone we could just easily just get easy money out of. Yeah, they're going to bully you. We're not that big of a team. We're not that big of a channel quite yet. Like, we don't have that much force. Like Yeah, I've seen a lot of bigger channels use their clips before. And they don't do anything. And they don't strike their channels. They don't try to extort money out of them. And the people that we talk to have such a huge attitude. Like, this air of superiority. Like, we're being generous with you. Please. We're, we're being nice here. You, ha you just have to pay us $6,000. We're doing you a service here. Like, that's the attitude we get from them. And then the first time, too, we, we were like, okay, fair. Just to make sure that we don't use your clips, can you check out our video and tell us if we used your clips? And they're like, no. <laughs> like, so yeah. they want that. That is. But they're checking out their videos anyway because they can get paid every time they check out enough videos and find an instance of their clips being used. She just wants to avoid any hassle and any more fines, and she wants to follow and comply with their guidelines. But at the same time, should they really fucking have to? You have to ask yourself, should they really, really have to comply with these supposed guidelines by this company who is considered the ambulance chaser of viral videos? So clearly, like, they don't want to work with us. Like, I really don't want to step on your territory kind of thing. But that just outright told me, like, you're just doing this to get money out of us. 
to the maximum degree. Yeah, I feel you like know? if they treated every YouTuber like this, tons of channels would be deleted right now. Because there are plenty, like, if you go on any YouTube channel, chances are, like, some fucking video on the internet played at some point in their channel. But they're not going after them and taking them down. They're going after us because I think we gave them money. But yeah, so basically... That's bad. I guess we're making this video to let you know that either we might stop reacting to videos. Period. Like, we can only look at uh, images pictures. and pictures. Or if somebody has a solution, something to help us out here, I have an email. That makes our business. Feel free, feel free to send an email. So yeah, I'm sorry for this depressing video. And me and Gene will see you for regular scheduled video. Look, I personally think they have other ways they can do it. You can alter a video through editing where you can go ahead and change the transparency to make the video look red, green, blue, whatever color you want. You can use sunburst, you can use sepia effects, you can use tons and tons of filters out there to still play a video. Because according to most intellectual property rights and the most rights to media, if there's more than like usually a 30% difference in a video, you're not going to get striked and copyrighted for it. However, at the same time, this is also obscene and obtuse. They should not be being extorted for every nickel and dime they possibly have by a company who just goes around and ambulance chases videos. Who can afford that shit these days? Tomorrow. Peace. Alright. Now, there's also other reactions out there, so I urge you to search the other reactions. Um, there's a couple channels who've already done this, and they're a lot more eloquent in the way they speak about things than I am, and they're a lot more knowledgeable on rights to media and rights to videos, and they've also had correspondence with Juke and Media. At this point, I just feel like I want to get MXR Play's story out there and let them know there are ways to search for it. Worst comes to worst, just go to Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R dot com, and hire a content creator or a content specialist to comb through your videos and stuff like that. You can probably find someone who specializes in that type of thing dirt cheap who's really talented. I've met a lot of really talented people, especially when it comes to media, entertainment, authors, stand-up comics, all sorts of people on Fiverr because they're just trying to find a side hustle to go ahead and complement their primary occupation to get by. But they still bring to the table a lot of talent and a lot of experience. So MXR Plays, I don't know if you'll ever see this video. I don't know if I've helped you much, but I do want to help get your story out there and react to this because obviously this is bullshit and it should not be happening to you guys. And if Juke and Media never apologizes, mm -hmm. well, I'm sorry this is happening to you. And I know that's not enough, but at least it's something. Good luck, guys.